look, Gary, this is how dangerous it's becoming. And you hear Professor Kwesienin and the rest of them suggest that if we are not careful, we'll get to a time where these gangs within Galamse sites will overpower our security, at least the police. They will become like your typical Boko Haram guys. Mm -hmm. Something good morning. <coughs> good morning. Good morning to my brother Kufi. And then good morning to Erastos. I think you are doing a very good job. And you should be commended for what you are doing. Uh, it's very disturbing to hear these kind of stories that in the quest of your work as a journalist, mm. then you have to be faced with these kind of uh, life-threatening uh, you know, situations. I don't think it's right. It's not, it's not right, I mean. But you see something. The problem I think we have been faced as a country is the issue of partisan politicization of this menace called illegal mining. I mean, how can somebody take some fines and whatever you call it to go to our water bodies to go and be mining to destroy our water? And everybody's looking on because they say, well, if you go and talk about it, they say you saw political consequences. And there are people now going on radio and television to say that, yes, I went to the place to say, uh, we will let you do the, uh, the mining when we come to power. That is a problem. We might depoliticize it and face this matter as a matter of national security. Both political parties, NPP and DC, let's work together. Because, I mean, listening to him this morning, I'm, 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 I'm shivering. You know, the tax force, situation. you know the tax force that has just been relaunched and it went to the Brim uh, River and drove away the Galamseas, the bent uh, 18 chamfans and other, you know, machines that were sitting on the, yeah. on the Brim. You know, three days after that exercise, some of them went back. So last week, um, Adam Strum, who took drone shots, <laughs> footage of that place showed us the footage and you saw the galamseas right there they, are they back, were back they are back 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 doing the same yeah. you know illegality so 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 it suggests that what we are doing is not effective for me i think that we should station the military permanently on those on those areas you see fly drones there station them permanently because if, if you if you if you do like maybe uh, you you're shifting cultivation you, you go you go on this side and then you move to that side and then you close and you move and they, they come back. It's like it can't be effective. Mm. It should be stationed there permanently. I don't understand why people will go to the water bodies and all this and go and do mining. I don't right. understand it. Uh, Erasmus, what do you know? <clears throat> the the tax that tax force, after they went to the Brim River, where else have they been to? They went to other areas in the western region. But I have personally spoken with some members of the task force, and uh, what they tell me uh, doesn't show um, commitment. What do you mean? Uh, they said that they are giving daily schedules on where to go and where not to go. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they are staring at uh, people who are polluting the rivers, and they are told they cannot um, arrest them. You're serious about this? Yes. That there are places they can go, but there are other places they, they cannot, cannot go. go. And they are perhaps told, for security reasons that maybe those who are there are more, you know, <coughs> they have better weapons than the Ghana army. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. If they have better weapons than the Ghana army, then we are doomed. If a whole battalion like that will go to an area and uh, they are seeing people who are polluting the river and they cannot arrest them, then why are we I don't in believe the first this. place? Yes, I, 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 I spoke with some members of it. You know, I don't want to go further to reveal who and all that, but I've spoken extensively. I, they, they talk with me because they also talk, want to tap on the experience I have. So some of them call me and ask me of areas that they can go. And they, they, they tell me those stuff that sometimes when you are at the site, a call will come that move from that side. Sometimes DCs will come and say, you cannot go through here. Sometimes they give them a long route. By the time they get there, the people are gone. The, the Ghana Journalists Association issued a statement under the hand of uh, Albert Jumfo, and they're saying that 
the lease for this particular metallum, is it? Edel metallum. Edel metallum should be, as it were, revoked. You support that? Like I said initially, I want to ask the Minerals Commission, when was the last time they went there? What they, is their they, they are overwhelmed. Can't you see? They are overwhelmed. What, where is, what, what is their regulatory oversight over that site? Because once, if you're overwhelmed, then let's stop giving the license. But they tell you also that they've been to places and they've reported to the police and the police simply have not acted. What do you want the Minerals Commission people to do? They are so, not, so they are not gun-wielding officers. Then let's stop. The Forestry Commission officers, you they see, don't have guns. When you are, you are not ready, then you don't do it at all. So why are we issuing licenses when we cannot even regulate the licenses? Because once you issue the license, it means you should play your uh, regulatory role over that license. It's a collective the responsibility. The coordinates that you are giving to that particular license, you should make sure they are operating within the coordinates. Uh, you should make sure that whatever um, methods they are using to mine conform with the regulations. If you cannot do that job, then you don't have any business at all issuing new licenses. Mm. But as we have seen, we are issuing fresh licenses to people to mine in forest reserves. There is a roadmap. The principle that, we are told about yeah. issuing fresh licenses mm. is that that's actually the solution. Because if you don't give license, they will do it illegally. But if you give them license, you can bring them under your fold and regulate them. You don't agree to that? So how are we regulating them? We are back to square one. So you're trying to solve a problem with a solution that is not feasible. You can't regulate them. You want to solve illegal mining. Now you're giving the licenses, and then they are using the licenses. You can't regulate them, so it falls back to Galamsey. What have you done? You are worsening the problem. Maybe in that process, you'll be able to regulate a good number, and maybe the few will do the wrong thing. Yes, uh, um, so, Kofi, uh, uh, hold yeah, on. Yeah, okay. Kofi, what, what, what are you thinking as you hear this chilling story and the bravado that we seem to become aware of the operators and how they go about it, to the extent that a whole rec sect and a tax force will go to a place and retreat for fear that these people will over, overpower them? Well, Samson, good morning to you and good morning to Gary and Erastos. And I empathize with you in the situation that you and your colleagues really were subjected to. It's really, aside the, the risk of it, of possibly losing your lives, it's mm. dehumanizing. The trauma. And, and exactly, the trauma of it. But you see, I will not accept this proposition about partisan comments in relation to Galamse Act as the basis for which an elected authority, a mandated authority with power, cannot deal with the situation. I will not. Why? Where mere Do people were, care about were, anything apart from votes. Were mere demonstrators who were demonstrating against the ill, creating awareness, not hacked and dumped in the cells and further remanded for many days. Was there no political comments on that? But they did it. They had the will to do it. What is stopping the person with authority from taking steps to declare forest reserves, water bodies, and such areas, declaring a state of emergency? But, but Gary is talking about a fact that you cannot deny. And we are quick to play it about recent matters, and we don't go a little back. You see it show, even in some research papers, when Mahama was campaigning to retain power, and he was talking about regulating the process, Akufuadu was speaking just like Mahama also began to speak 
when Akufuado was also saying, when we come, we will try and regulate the process. So the two of you, I, some, like they say, Dukadaya. Samson, I don't think John Dramani Mahama has shifted his position as far as small-scale mining or galamsi or illegal activities is concerned. He's been very consistent. He's been very consistent as he was in 2016 and now. The only other addition he talked about was the fact that when you lock up the little flies and leave the key financiers, you don't trace to deal with them. There will be many more flies to be picked by these financiers, those who are benefiting from the destruction of our water bodies. You need to put a system in place that tackles the roots. Mm. Those who buy the excavators, those who buy the pickups, mm. those who buy the pump actions, those who buy the rifles. Because as for the young persons to be put in the forest and in our water bodies, you would always find them. Arrest 1,000 today, you will get 2,000 who will be willing to move in there. So you don't solve the problem by such means. Where is the difficulty in declaring those areas as becoming under an emergency situation? So that when anyone is walking there, the person knows that even by my movement towards that place, there is a certain declaration that anyone who supports me, anyone who sees me, can take some action. But if it remains, that you send a platoon there, they go and bench some fans. Some of them get bent even in the water bodies. And so you are not really burning the, the destructive part of the chamfan. When you bend what we see on the surface, you haven't done anything. Mm. Those ones are just platforms that, that are built right there. The real body that is doing harm to the water body is down there and you, you are not able to bend that part. But when you declare a state of emergency in such areas, whether there is a permanent military presence there or security presence there, let me use security and not just say military, security presence there or not, there's a certain understanding that water bodies, forest reserves, the state of emergency has been declared. So you step there at your peril. But until you do that, and I don't see the difficulty. I don't see the president that the president has taken steps and has brought anything to parliament for parliament to pass to enable him effect, and parliament have refused. You have not brought anything before. You, you guys have joined uh, the public to complain when you, you pass this uh, law that allows mining in forest reserves. Well, well, it well, was passed well, by parliament. You know, you know it was. Mm -hmm. I, I don't hold brief for scientists, but you know that Parliament works with committees. We've worked with Mines and Energy Committee. Right. We've worked with Lands and Natural Resource Committee. That have dealt with mm. issues to do with mining. Mm. This very LI that has become troubling was smuggled through EPA, through the Committee Responsible for Environment. And so the kind of attention Focus. We'll, that has been we'll come to talk about. We'll come to talk about that because uh, Okujeta Blackwa, Al Hassan uh, Suhini, and exactly. Francis Xavier Sosu uh, are, have started a process for a private well, members' bill to revoke three two. Uh, to, three two so. Yes, to to cancel that provision that allows for uh, mining in forest reserve. But I'm I'm going to ask the question whether that is not just for populist purposes because. I thought we knew that organized labor, when they took the decision that they would not strike, it was because they had been given the assurance that the state was going to take steps and that the state had actually started what it, it's required to uh, change that law. So why are they still um, I was, doing this? I, I, I said was, we'll come to that. Um, I, I will come to that. Uh, let er Erastos take leave of us. Er Erastos, uh, this must have shaken you and your team. Um, what are you looking forward to? Um, I really hope that this has not led to a point where you, you become afraid to continue with your work. No, it hasn't gotten there, but um, 
we are looking for justice. Uh, secondly, we want our items returned. In fact, those drone batteries, the tablets are very expensive for uh, common journalists like us. We bought them with our own monies and we need them back. And I think the police will do a very good job to get those items back to us. Um, uh, this is what we do. We only have to be more careful. We only have to um, review our security protocols uh, going forward. But definitely, it's not a job that we intend to quit. At least how much do you need for that drone? The drone we hire at the moment. Mm. Um, you rent it? You rent it, yeah. Okay. And uh, it's, it's a very expensive product, so we oh. cannot buy it ourselves. I see. All right. Um, thank you. You're expecting that the police will make more arrests? Yes, they can, and they we should. expect them to do so. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Erastos. Um, you want to say something just yeah, a minute? Yes, a minute, then we'll yes, take a yes, break. yes. You see, you see, just to reiterate what, the point that I made, Professor Mills on 4th of August 2011. Can we move away from the politics? That because is why I'm saying, that anyway. is why I'm saying that we have to depoliticize it. Mm -hmm. So it's start depoliticizing. Don't get through, into the it's politics. It's run through mm. pre President Mahama, President Mills, President Mahama, President Kufuado, put his president on the line. Let's get to a stage. I think we have come now. Yeah, things have gotten really where, worse. Where we must now all agree. Mm -hmm. As a nation, collectively, me and my brother will be on one side right. to now fight against the menace. Okay. That is the point I'm making. Thank you very much. Um, we'll take a break here. We'll be right back.